Alright. Hello, Akron fans! This is Shadow Fury 3 bringing you a FP VOD on Desecrated Temple version 2. This is. Where's my set? Oh, there's my set. <laughs> anyway, Desecrated Temple version 2. This is a brand new. Well, update to my map. Desecrated Temple. Actually, you go over here now. Brand new update to my map, Desecrated Temple, which I just finished up. And it's a pretty major update. As you can see, a lot of it's changed. Most notably, the resource placement is actually a lot harder to build many processors around. You can only build about two RPs on it at a time. Or sorry, two RPs in the edge crates and one RP on the middle crates, meaning that RP growth rate is a lot slower and expansions are a lot more necessary. This is a product of some discussions I was having with another map maker for Akron, and I think it's a good direction. We'll figure out how this goes. Anyway, so I'm playing Grekum, I want to see how this is going to work. I also changed around, so there's a small ramp here, but now a defined ramp instead of a giant... Well, it used to be over here, a giant hole. Basically, the entire section had caved down. And now it's much smaller, much more defensible, so that should help with actually staying alive in the long term, as you've probably... If you watch my videos regularly, you'll know that Grekum has a very difficult time with well, defense at this point. It's kind of weird, they don't have a terrible time with turtling up, but it is kind of tricky to avoid getting attacked early on. So, this should help out with that, and also, let's just go around the map. I think I have some time once I build my reef, and just send this guy out. I'm just going to send him out to scout a bit, and build a faro as well. So, the main change on this is that, well, there's the expansion now here. The, expan the naturals are now next to the island, rather than just being in a pinwheel formation. And... The thirds are more in the center, along with, like I said, smaller ramps in between the bases. This is, if any of you have played StarCraft at all, this is now almost completely a remake of Lost Temple. It was already a partial remake of Lost Temple, but now it's pretty much a total remake of Lost Temple. I'm not sure what Vikram is talking about with the textures. Probably go back and actually deal with the RP construction expansion and everything that I wasn't doing when I was talking about the map. Not sure what Vikram is actually talking about with the textures, because I think that the textures are should be fine. They look fine to me. I might have missed a couple textures that needed updating. Because I did just go through this fairly quickly to update all the textures. I might have missed some. This is entirely possible. I'm not sure if he's seen that. The textures for this map are stock. They are included with the game as of version 101.00. So that should not be a problem. But it is still very much possible that there is an issue with the textures anyway. I might not have I might have missed some when I was rebuilding it, because changing the elevation I had to change a lot of the way the textures were mapped out too. That being said, this should oops, I, whoops, <laughs> forgot my own play or my own hockeys for a second there. Anyhow. That being said, it shouldn't be too big of a deal, I hope. Provided that it actually has the textures loaded at all. There shouldn't be any issues. If he doesn't have the textures loaded, then there is an issue and we have to deal with that. But I think at this point we should be fine. And I'm worried he's going to be attacking me in the past. I'm betting he's attacking me in the past right now, and I just haven't seen it yet. Like, I'm probably dead and I just don't know it yet. But... Well, that's Akron for you. Oh, it looks like actually no, I'm being attacked in the future. Because I find his base in the middle of the map. Okay, so he is in the south position, the 6 o'clock position, while I'm in the 12 o'clock position. And I'm still really concerned that he is, in fact, attacking me in the past. I'm trying to figure out if he is doing anything, if he has anything fishy up his sleeve. In fact, you should go over here, although it might jeopardize one of my mounds. No, you're a reef. You are the mound. You should go over here. Not undo everything, just go over there. And then, I'm pretty sure that blue time wave is going to carry some damage. Vigorin is not a player who avoids unplayable pass attacks or similar attacks. He's very aggressive, and as we've seen many times, he's a very much a fan of proxy strategies. So, we'll see that. I'm very certain we'll see it. I'm just not certain where it is. 
Actually, it might be a good idea just to build a mound right here. That way I can easily see if there's a proxy strategy. Though, if he's going to do that, he might as well go over here, build it here as well. I'm, like I said, I'm kind of paranoid. I've got to be honest, I am a little bit paranoid. Mostly because I know what he does, and I know that he does it well. I don't see anything, though. It looks pretty safe. Something's fishy here, but it does look pretty safe. And... Wait, was Vikram here the whole time? Did I just... Oh, crap. I think I just ran into one of the scouts by accident instead of actually running into him. So the scouting, his scouting ring and my scouting Sepiocto kind of got confused. Now we have... So I'm in a 12 o'clock position, and he is, in fact, in the 3 o'clock position, not the 6 o'clock position as I had originally thought. Well, it is an FP VOD, so I can't obviously know offhand. Did I miss... I, I missed a spire producing octo. This, this octo produces a spire. Like, now-ish. You stay over here. I, I want my spire. I was supposed to have a spire a while ago. Seems to have been undone accidentally. Well, no matter. We'll just redo it. So this is at the 334 mark, and I am now getting a spire. Which admittedly is fairly late, but not especially late. It's sort of a safe late timing. Now I can actually get the air units that I originally got, and I don't see them. I did build them. The order should be on the queue somewhere. Maybe I jumped... No, I jumped again on the spire. Shoot. Okay, never mind. You don't build a spire. You you continue to attack Vikran. I, I totally jumped the gun. I apologize. You may continue to move around on all eight legs. Like the eight-legged fiend you are. I mean... Eight-legged friend you are. You become a spire. You cease moving. I need you here. And you become a reef. Okay, so everything is pretty much in order as I wanted it before. And, oh, wait, you... Actually, you should become a dome over here, now that I think about it. I'll set up another octo to become RPs. My growth rate is pretty slow. I will want to expand, definitely. Oh, there it is. There's a tornado attacking that RP. So Vikran is not going for a proxy strategy as he normally does. He is in fact going for just standard aggressive build. And now I think that this actually works out really well, having the, having fewer resources, just having more having more crates, having enough resources to last for a while, but not having so many that you end up being able to be hyper aggressive and still turtle up, still build enough. Okay, crap, I've got to fix with the textures then. I guess you didn't realize this is a ramp. This is a problem. I do not want this problem to occur. And I was worried this would happen because, oh crap, there's a turret attacking my Farapod. Not because of the turret attacking my Farapod, because that's nothing to do with the... That has nothing to do with anything. That's just because Vikran decided to actually defend himself, which... Can't say I blame him, I'm doing the same thing. No, what I meant to say was... I'm gonna get some octaves to fight that off. Anyway. What I meant to say was that Vicarin, and I might want to actually attack his natural. Vicarin is building, it seems to be a bit slower because of the resource change, but he didn't know about that ramp that he could use to actually attack me directly. And there's the macrofab, okay. So, I just want to figure out where are the, oh crap, there is a turret here, that's, that's no good. That's not going to help me at all. And then you go. Oh, I think the Sepipod's going to die. Nope, the Sepipod lives. So, yeah, I don't know what exactly I could attack right now. I guess just hanging out out here, really. Just seeing what he's up to. While building up. And building up and building up and getting more expansions. And I really should be building up an expansion over here as well. Let's actually have a vision of the area. Get myself out of here and get my Octopod. You know what? Leo class would be good right now. Leo class would actually be good about a minute ago. Now that I think about it. And specials wouldn't be good a minute ago. Specials can wait. And you guys are meant to go here, because you're meant to be base breakers. And there you go. Okay, you guys walk over there. Start breaking bases. Farpod goes over here. Vikran is... Looks like he's trying to uppercut my attack. Original attack is going to get a little bit uppercut. No matter, it's... Not going to change it that much. The important thing is that the base breakers still do their job. You don't have an upgraded dome beam. You should have an upgraded dome beam. And you should already have been an RP. I don't know why you weren't an RP yet. You be an RP. 
And the rest of you build some more base, well, more units. See if we can get some more reefs around the map, and possibly some more mounds around the map. Use them to... No, smart armor would be a good idea. Okay, I think my base breaking force will not be of much use. Let me just see. What killed... Oh, that was Tornod. Yeah, my base breaking force will work fine. It's an almost dead Tornod, too. You go over here, and you join the base breakers. You as well join the base breakers. I'm too far in the past. You go over here to join the base breakers, because you need to be there. And you guys, I want one of you to become an RP, I want one of you to become a dome, a dome, and you're a base breaker. You break bases. Where's my octopod? Oh, there's the octopod. I don't know why he wasn't joining the base breakers. And now my RPs are actually starting to run out of resources. Uh, it's still kind of soon. Good to know. Part of this was to test to see how long we can make resources last. The idea... The idea that Cron Aberrant had, the, the other map maker I was talking to, was that if you had two boxes that were fairly full in resources, you could only have six RPs for LC and four on QP, and it would work out fairly nicely for rate while still allowing you to last for a while. I'm not sure if it's really lasting me for a while, but maybe it is. I mean, maybe I'm just not building enough anyway. Regardless, my base breaker force is actually... It's breaking base. How about that? It's, it is, in fact, breaking base. I do like to see that. Though the Octos were meant to kill that turret, so this might be a problem. Oh, there you go. Kill the turret. Kill ye turret! Seriously? The turret's taking... Oh, shit. Okay, turrets apparently have a damage multiplier against Octos. That's very useful information. But unfortunately, it would have been useful five minutes ago, and five minutes ago is in the unplayable past. So therefore, it's not useful at all. Seppi Ho! And Seppi's hoe as well, because apparently he is definitely focusing on air, and so I should be getting myself some nice anti-air. And you guys should all be... You should all be linked to the Arcticus right here, because my base breaking force is going to have to move back. Because he's breaking my base, and that's no good. Now, you, you go here. You go here. I don't... Okay. I am pretty sure that's it for now. I'm just going to go through the center and make sure he isn't doing any straight crazy attacks there first. And where's my... Oh, right. I got Leo Claus a while ago, too. I should probably use that. And get more QP. That's where I could really use more RPs, is QP right now. This is Dome Beam, although I don't know how good it's going to be right now. I should probably build... Not really too worried about undermining right now. It's close, to close enough to the playable pass. It's probably not going to be as big of a deal. I'm more worried about just dying in general. I'm not so worried about undermining that I won't expand or won't use up my resources as I have them. Eh, that might be a good idea, actually. I'm, I'm imagining he's going to be building quite a few forces. Getting... Actually, I have a fairly large army as it is. So yeah, getting... Specials would not be a bad idea. I imagine he has Gate Tech or Corona Boarding by now. And if he doesn't, he does have a massive army of his own air army as well. So I was probably right in building up my forces the way I did, though building up the Octopod or the Faro Ligo may not be the best idea. If I get special actually you know if I get specials now, I think I might have enough resources to build the Octopod when I need it. No, I do not. Crap. Where's my QP? Okay, there's my QP. So I did not, did not have enough for the Autoligo when I wanted it, but I do have enough eventually. Now just get my Seppies in place, because the attack is going to be starting soon. Attack's almost starting, the attack is starting, and we have the first dome beam going off, second dome beam, we need to get... What? No! What do you mean not enough energy? You guys have plenty of energy. Crap. Okay, well that as an anti-air attack. Why is... Oh, shit. Right, I found that to... Found that to E. Okay, this is embarrassing. This is very embarrassing. I did not intend for this to happen quite like this. I didn't expand enough either, did I? Well, still, as an experiment, I still think it succeeded, despite the fact that I lost. Because... Really, I mean, if you look at what I have... I mean, apart from, you know, death terrible, terrible death. What I have is pretty solid data that there's, well, at least depending on how well Vikram is playing, decently solid data that 
this might actually work as a resource paradigm. He seemed to, I'll have to watch the replay afterwards, assuming it works out. Let's see. No, he did build up. He expanded, drained his main, drained his natural. Appears to be draining around here as well. So he did expand quite a bit, but that's the whole point. He did expand. He expanded quite a lot, which meant that had I actually gone for it, I would have been able to harass that expansions and probably deal him a lot of damage, provided I expanded myself. That was sloppy of me, I know, but still, I was more worried about the experimentation and the testing than apparently winning. So that's what I got! So I hope you enjoyed that, I apologize it wasn't more... Well, okay, I apologize for my own sake, it wasn't more of me winning, but... Eh, it's kind of conceited to me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, everyone, and have a good night.